Okay, let's talk Multiverse of Madness. Don't worry, I'm going to try to keep this as spoiler-free as possible. So, I saw it last night, and uh, I kind of had to sit on it a little bit. Look, blame it on expectations, or, you know, blame it on me entirely, but I just kind of felt a little empty after seeing this film. Like, there was something I, I was missing. I liked a lot of it. I, uh, I liked Scarlet Witch a ton. I, she's like the best part of the movie. The horror elements are beautiful. I'm so happy they're there. I've been asking for horror elements in the MCU since Incredible Hulk, and I never got them. But I, I don't know. Maybe... I don't know. We got some amazing cameos. I won't say what they are, but I mean, they're great. I was super happy to see them. I was pumped. Uh, the effects on the back half are really, really solid. There is some wonky CG in the uh, beginning third, but, uh, you know, they... they pass by fairly quickly. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I, I have to admit and say it's probably one of the MCU's weaker entries. I'm really hoping that it gets better with time like the original Doctor Strange did, but I, I honestly don't know. I hate that I feel this way. I was really pumped for this movie, but I just, I don't know. I, I, I can't articulate it, but I feel like something's missing in this film. And um, part of that probably has to do with the order that it came out. You see, this film was written before No Way Home, and uh, Marvel kind of hyped this up as supposed to be like the big, you know, proper meal to the appetizer that was No Way Home. But it doesn't feel like it builds off of what happened in No Way Home. It feels like it sets it up. So, I don't know, maybe just keep that in mind when you go in, help set your expectations. This isn't going to be the big main course set up by No Way Home. This is the appetizer. And we're eating it after the main course. So it might be good, but maybe not as good as you were expecting. I'm definitely going to need a rewatch on this one. As is, it gets spot 197 right above Batman vs. Superman, The Ultimate Edition. Bye.